Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the crew, do me a quick favor. Hit both the like and the subscribe button, as well as clicking the bell icon on your way in. I, I really appreciate you. I definitely appreciate you. We're gonna be taking a look at the A11 from Umidigi, as well as the A9 Pro again. This time it's a camera comparison. So we're going to be covering the 64 megapixel, in, in, well actually the 48 megapixel inside of the A9 Pro versus the A A11, the Humidity A11. So let's just jump into it. We're going to do a quick camera comparison. I'm going to put some photos up on the screen. I'm also going to put up some videos as well, but let's just take a look at it right now. Let's just jump into the first picture of the bridge that you see here so you can see right here the sky is is bluer on the a11 it looks like it's a little bit bluer also darker on the grass area but um it's really hard to determine which took a better photo you could look and see that the foreground on the a11 is much more lighter there's a lot more contrast going on there's a lot more darks and shadows going on near the tree area of the A11. It's a lot darker on the A11. It's a lot lighter on the A9 Pro. So I just want to throw that out there, but also the grass has more detail on it on the A9 Pro. Let's jump into the next photo and you can see that it continues. The grass has a lot of detail on it. Um, a little bit softer image on the A11. As you can see right here, the clouds are more detailed on the A9 Pro as well. Let's jump into the next photo. So you can see we, we do have flowers here. We do have a you know, some type of flower. The colors are different. You can see the colors are, the color temperatures are a lot lighter on the A11 compared to the A9 Pro. More detail, it seems like on the A9 Pro, but also a really good photo for both of these phones. So now let's jump into the next photo. We're looking at the sky again with some clouds all the way in the background. And then you can kind of see the trees below it. And you can, in the foreground, you can see the garden. Um, just more details on the A9 Pro here. Let's jump into the next photo. And this is a picture of some flowers. Well, not flowers, but like a garden. And you could kind of look at the ground and you can see that on the ground that, that there's more detail on the ground as opposed to the A11. So the A9 Pro has a little bit more details on the ground as well. So let me know what you guys think about that photo. but. Uh, I'm going with the A9 Pro on that one. And then the A9 Pro again here, you can see the vegetable looks more detailed as well as the leaf on the front of the vegetable. So I will go with the A9 Pro one here, but they both do take a really good photo. Now let's take a look at this photo right here, which is a picture of a flower and the flower is has much more saturation to it on the A9 Pro versus the A11 again. So. We're gonna just take a look at two more photos of that same thing. And then, yeah, you can see it just took a better shot there. So now let's, we're gonna take a look at this um, picture of the garden. It's actually a different angle and you can see the clouds in the sky are a bit more detailed. There are also darker blues in the sky on the A9 Pro and more detail in the bush of that tree in the background. You could also see in the building on the back, in the back of the, underneath the cloud, the building is more detailed as well. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, do me a quick favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button as well. And it, by the way, I, I do apologize if you do hear sirens right now. I do apologize about that, but I definitely appreciate you for hitting the like button and showing your support and appreciation to the channel. Let's just jump back into the comparison. So we are looking at a pink flower. Now this flower does appear to look better on the, I don't know, they both look good, but it blew out, the, the portrait is a little bit more stronger on the A9 Pro, as you can see. Colors are really good on both, and the edge detection is good on both. So let's jump into the next photo. And this is like a leaf. You can see that this is a leaf. And they're both, they both took a really, really good picture on this one. So I have no preference there. And we, have, we do have another leaf here, right here, where you can see that the leaves are I said the detail is accentuated more on the A9 Pro. Now we have a picture of a blue flower and um, the colors just burst out on, at you on the A9 Pro. It's a little bit softer on the A11. More detail on the A9. Right, so the next image that we're looking at after that red stem with the green plant and the vein in it, I definitely like the A9 Pro there, but 
we're getting like this other plant, which looks weird. It has like some peppers on it or something like that, but both of them were, were a disaster. I don't like either one of those pictures. So let's skip that one. But the next image we're looking at is a picture of a flower in macro mode. And it's like a orange color. And the A9 Pro, I think did a better job Although both of these photos to me are just completely unusable. You know, it's not, it's really hard to identify what they are, but there's more detail on that A9 Pro. And let's take a look into this photo with the macro mode as well. They're both really bad as well. So I'm just gonna skip this one because I'm not sure which one did better. But this one looks absolutely amazing on the A9 Pro. The colors are actually a lot different on the A11. So you could just check that out. You can see that the, there's like blue leaves so I don't really like how the AI technology on the A11 did that and made them blue because it's actually green like the A9 Pro represents. So that's something that would be a better uh, uh, representation on the, you know what I'm saying, the A9 Pro. So this is the video right here, footage of the front camera. Hey, what's going on guys? And so I have the Mizuji A11. what it looks like when I'm hey, walking on the right on and I have the Mizuji A9 Pro on the left. They do have pretty steady, that's not steady at all actually. There's no stabilization on either one of these devices, but you can use a gimbal, a gimbal to actually have better stabilization. And then on the rear camera, the same exact story. So I just want to kind of let you guys know what they look like when you're walking and things of that nature, but this is like the regular view. And it did a better job of capturing detail on the A9 Pro, but it kind of blew out the sky. On the A11, it did keep, it, it, it's a little, it's a lot darker in the foreground, but in the background, it didn't blur out the sky too much. Now this is an actual macro photo right here of some flowers and not too bad on both. It actually did pretty good on both. You can see it's much more yellow on the A11 and more detail on the A9 Pro. So the story continues with the detail just being slightly better, but those pictures are good. So this is a night mode photo right here. I'm in the dark and the A9 Pro for some reason just show my show my face a lot more brighter versus the A11. I know it's actually, looks like it's pitch black on the A11 versus the A9. It actually looks like someone was putting a light on me, but I didn't even have the flash on, which was weird. So this is a picture of what it would look like on the rear camera at night time. And you can see, obviously it's much more clear on the A9 Pro again. So we do have, you know, a lot lighter in colors on the A9. So just kind of want to throw that out there, let you guys know what it looks like in the nighttime. And then I have like this picture of the night. I'm getting a notification right now as well. So you can just kind of see what I look like in the nighttime. And it's just obvious that the A11 is, is lacking somehow. But when it comes to the night mode, you can see right here that the A11 did turn the, the sky blue, even though it was like a dark blue on the A9, that's what it really looked like. So it did attempt to adjust the colors and the color science here in the night mode. So these are both night mode and you can see the color science is completely different. I prefer the A9 Pro just because it looks more realistic, even though you do get a lot of detail on the A11. So the A11 on this photo actually had better detail, but the brightness was better on the A9 Pro on that portrait shot. And then this is a picture of the moon right here. Bluer sky on the A11, darker sky on the A9. Same deal with this wide angle shot of the moon. And this is just a picture of me out pointing my, my camera outdoors and just shoot taking a shot. But let me know which one of these photos, uh, this photos, which which one of these cameras did better as far as photos and as well as videos. But I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section as always, and I'm gonna show you some love well. But let me know what you guys think about this comparison of the Yumidigi A9 Pro versus the Yumidigi A11 as far as the cameras. And I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section right now. You know, what you guys think, some of your opinions, some of your thoughts, let me know. I, I need you guys to participate and let me know what you guys think about both of these devices because it's, it's a pretty close one. They're both really affordable phones and you know, it's like they're really good for the money. So I'm going to I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm going to show up in the comment section. I'm also going to see you later. I'll get right back with you later, girl.